Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here. Welcome to our Playbook Experts YouTube channel. I'm gonna give you your recap of Tuesday night's college basketball action, preview Wednesday, and offer up a free pick. Uh, you can find me at pb.buzz slash tm to grab all my pick packages throughout all of the sports, and obviously college basketball is king right now. Uh, let's get started with uh, the results of our free play, which actually was Stetson uh, advancing in, uh, in their first round matchup against the Queens uh, University, North Carolina Royals. Uh, and uh, they covered the spread and will play in the semifinals. And uh, that's really what we'll, we'll start this recap. Hatters will host uh, Jacksonville University in, in a, a matchup between schools separated uh, by roughly 25 miles. Stetson now the top seed left in the Atlantic Sun after Eastern Kentucky was upset at home by JU. Um, so we've got some carnage now in college basketball. We needed a reminder that it's March. It's March. Dolphins actually uh, did everything they could to give that game away down the stretch. Uh, but I mean, even fouling uh, up three on a three point shot, but uh, the Colonels could not capitalize. So JU, thanks to Bryce Workman's 25 points, will advance. Stetson has never been to the NCAA tournament. Now they're favored to get there. They just have to hold serve at home. Austin P won 101-98 uh, to advance in its matchup against uh, North Florida. So uh, the Ospreys are out, and Austin P will host uh, North Alabama, which surprised Lipscomb uh, in Tennessee. So it's North Alabama at Austin P, and Stetson hosting Jacksonville in the Atlantic Sun semifinals beginning on Thursday. The Sun Belt's first round uh, saw Coastal Carolina beat Louisiana Monroe 77 to 71, and Texas State outlast Old Dominion 92 to 83. Really tough season for the Monarchs, uh, who had Jeff Jones, a longtime coach, suffer a heart attack early in the season. Uh, he's doing much better now, thankfully, but has since retired. So ODU season ends at the hand of the Bobcats. Uh, Tyrone Williams, of Texas State had the highest scoring performance in that overtime game of the entire uh, Tuesday night slate, scoring 36 points in the Patriot League. Navy advanced past Loyola, Maryland at home, but Army was defeated by Holy Cross. Uh, we saw Purdue bounce back uh, after trailing most of the first half and defeat Illinois 80, uh, pardon me, 77 to 71. Zach Eady had 28 points dominated the game as he usually does, and uh, secures an outright Big Ten regular season title for the Boilermakers. Alabama defeated again, 105-87 in Gainesville, uh, and uh, the Gators obviously have been in. Alabama, though, taking a tumble. They've, uh, they've lost to Tennessee at home, got housed by, uh, by Kentucky at Rupp Arena uh, a couple Saturdays ago, and now tasted another lopsided defeat in Gainesville. We'll see if Nate Oates uh, can get Alabama's ship righted in time for them to be a threat uh, in the SEC and NCAA tournaments. Mark Sears scored 33 points, but um, he really didn't get anybody else involved and got started late because uh, he was struggling uh, in the early part of that ha uh, contest as Florida took control. North Carolina beat uh, Notre Dame 84-51, to setting up that uh, huge clash on Saturday in Durham against Duke. Carolina wins. They are the outright ACC champs. Duke is trying to get a share of that. R.J. Davis basically scored his average with 22 points. In the uh, Sunflower Showdown, Kansas flexed the muscle, defeating K-State 90-68. to Really dominated in that game. Kevin McCuller looks healthy again. Scored 19 points after uh, topping 20 in his return over the weekend in the loss to Baylor. Jerome Tang not having uh, as much success as he did last season. Uh, it, it hurts not to have Marquis Snowell and Keontae Johnson, obviously, um, and the Wildcats with a tough loss after losing uh, to Cincinnati by a bucket over the weekend. They are now up against it in terms of the bubble, really have to make a run in Kansas City in the Big 12 tournament, not to mention knock off Iowa State this weekend at home to add another quad one win to their tally. Uh, bubble battles, we had uh, in the ACC Clemson, Defeat Syracuse 90 to 75 behind PJ Hall's 25 points. Big win for the Tigers keeps their uh, at-large hopes alive, and uh, it also helps their cause that Wake Forest suffered a 70 to 69 loss, their first 
defeat in Winston-Salem all season, really ill time. Referees missed a clear travel on Georgia Tech that probably would have uh, changed the outcome. But uh, again, Wake uh, wasted an opportunity to beat Virginia Tech over the weekend despite having a, a substantial halftime lead and uh, did not have Damari Monsanto, their top shooter, um, again on Tuesday night. So that was a, a, you know, a, a really tough blow. But led late after trailing the entire game. Again, that, that missed call really hurt. And then Bayan Dongo with a floater over Efton Reed uh, in the final second of the game delivered a 70-69 to victory for Georgia Tech, uh, playing spoiler and potentially keeping the Wake Forest Demon Deacons out of the NCAA tournament. They've got work to do prior to Selection Sunday. Pitt did what it needed to do, beating Florida State at home, 88-73. to Blake Henson, he's a bucket, 27 points. South Florida extends the nation's longest winning streak with an 85-72 win over Tulane. They're looking better and better to get an at-large bid. Chris Youngblood with 29 points for the Bulls. Uh, Matthew Morrell of Ole Miss threw up basically in the first minute, never returned, and it ended up biting the Rebels in the back. 69 to 66 losers at Georgia. Um, you know, at, at this point, Mike White's dogs are playing spoiler, and they lived up to their billing on uh, Tuesday night, winning in Athens. Ole Miss slides down, further down the bubble. Uh, you know, we'll see uh, if they can recover in time. And Morrell, it was just a stomach flu, so we should see him this weekend. But again, a damaging loss for the Rebels. St. John's did what it needed to do, 104-77 at the Paul. Same thing with Providence beating Georgetown 71-58. Uh, to 58. Devin Carter, future first-round pick, scored 24 points for the Friars. Texas Tech, also a team that needed to win at Oklahoma State, did so. Pop Isaacs with 19 points in a 75-58 win for the Red Raiders. And the Sooners, they absolutely needed to hold serve at home against Cincinnati, did so in overtime, 74-71. to Latre Darthard, 18 points, the 20th win of the season for Porter Moser Sooners. Uh, Darthard was 12 of 14 from the free throw line and hit a few big ones late to uh, defeat the Bearcats, who are now in a spoiler role. They're not going to make the NCAA tournament. Oklahoma looking like they are. Dayton with a big win at St. Louis, 183. They run Holmes, uh, 25 points, and a tough loss for VCU after losing their uh, city rivalry game uh, at Richmond, who, again, looks uh, like a really strong a team to, uh, in terms of resume-wise, to uh, make the NCAA tournament field as A-10 regular season champions. Uh, the, the Spiders look good. Rival VCU not having a good time of it. They lost to Duquesne, 69-59. to Day-Day Grant with 26 points for the Dukes. Harvard lost to Dartmouth. Uh, you know, they were already out of Ivy Madness. Brown has already clinched that four seed. And in the Mountain West, you saw San Diego State lose at UNLV. DJ Thomas, one of the best freshmen in the country, led the Rebels to another big win. UNLV can potentially get a share of the Mountain West regular season title if they are able to beat Nevada in Reno this weekend. But they also need help as Utah State would have to fall uh, either tonight against San Jose State, which is unlikely to happen, or potentially against New Mexico in a game the Lobos badly need. Uh, and uh, Nevada put themselves in position to win out and gain a, a, a share of that Mountain West regular season title with a Aggies loss by defeating Boise State in Boise. Um, final score was 76 to 66. Hunter McIntosh hit, I think, six or seven threes, finished with 26 points as they spoil senior night for the Broncos and head coach Leon Rice and his son Max. So tough loss for Boise. Boise was in the, end of the tournament. Uh, Nevada also clinches their spot, uh, but now they, they've got uh, bigger aspirations as they look to finish as at least a Mountain West regular season co-champion. Hey, we're going to have afternoon basketball starting Thursday you know, for the foreseeable future as conference tournaments fully get underway. The Northeast Conference uh, is gets started on Thursday night. Mary Mack, despite not being able to uh, compete for an NCAA tournament bid like they did, uh, as was the case last year when they won the NEC tournament and second place fairly Dickinson ended up taking their bid and then beating Purdue um, is again, one of the favorites in that NEC uh, tournament. Central Connecticut state is the number one seed. 
Uh, we also have BC playing Miami. I think both of those teams are out at this point. TCU looks to pick up a victory uh, at West Virginia to strengthen their case as an at-large bid. I think uh, unless the Horned Frogs collapse in Morgantown, they should safely be in. Uh, Arkansas and LSU at this point looks like uh, two teams where, where the winner uh, can feel strong, uh, you know, stronger about their NIT aspirations. I don't think either of those teams uh, will make the NCAAs. Uh, the uh, Big South gets underway with an 8-9 game between USC Upstate and Radford. Uh, and we'll also see the OVC start up, Eastern Illinois against uh, uh, SIU Edwardsville and uh, Southern Indiana facing Tennessee State. Those games will be played in Evansville. Uh, BYU is at Iowa State. That's one of the bigger games of the night. Both of those teams should be safely in if the Cougars are able to uh, withstand Hilton Magic and win in Ames. That obviously strengthens their case as a quad one win. Uh, Indiana is at Minnesota. Both of those teams on the outside looking in of the Big Ten ter- uh, in the Big Ten uh, picture as far as at large teams are concerned. Mentioned uh, New Mexico, they play Fresno State tonight, and San Jose State looks for the upset against Utah State at home. But I don't think that's coming. Aggies uh, really playing well and uh, should move one step closer to the outright Mountain West regular season title. So free play for tonight. We're going to go with the under in number one Houston at UCF. Knights have been fantastic at home. They took down Kansas there. Uh, you know, really have uh, have been tough against opponents uh, in the dungeon. Uh, and uh, I think Houston will survive that test. We'll see if they cover the spread. I believe it's like eight, eight and a half. But what I'm interested in is the total. Houston and UCF will go under 131. That's your free play. Uh, you know, Johnny Dawkins, his teams typically fight you for everything, every inch on the defensive end. This particular UCF team has some offensive talent, but uh, you know, really a bunch of athletes that play hard for Dawkins. I thought uh, what Johnny Dawkins has done in his, in his first season in the Big 12 merits uh, kudos, and I think he'll hold on to the job in Orlando. Uh, but I, I, I do see Calvin Sampson's Cougars uh, escaping uh, the uh, – the uh, Orlando area with a victory over the Knights. But again, we like the under on 131 points. So that's what we got for uh, the college basketball video for Wednesday. I'm Tony Mejia. Again, pb.buzz slash TM. Thanks for watching this Playbook Experts video. Have a great Wednesday.